One of the ideas that Ayn Rand really stresses in Atlas Shrugged, but throughout all her later work, is the idea of moral sanction. And we often think of moral sanction like as saying, hey, buddy, you know, good job. And you might wonder, like, well, why would a builder, why would a creator need that? Like, that seems kind of ridiculous. Um, but what it really is, is that people need to feel as if they're creating for a human culture that when Dagny's running her railroads, she really faces the question of who am I running them for? Who is my product serving? And do I care about that? And the point of moral sanction in that context is that there's people out there going, Dagny, we appreciate what you do because it's helping us do what we do. And she thinks, all right, it's worth the effort. It's worth the struggle. I should stick and build this stuff. Now imagine the reversal, which is not just silence, but saying, no, you're corrupt, you're evil then there's a real question of, well, then why the hell should I do this and struggle? Yeah, I'll still be productive and creative and use my mind, but I'm not going to, wh why am I doing it for the public? Like they're just punishing me for it. I should go off in a lab and just, you know, do my own experiments or whatever my passion is, paint things and never send them out into the world. And indeed, that's what Atlas Shrugged is really wrestling with is what does and what should people do in the face of a culture that doesn't give moral sanction. And so the issue here is we're seeing with the reaction to Apollo 11, we're seeing with the reaction to the vaccines today, we're seeing with the reaction, um, Elon Musk, for instance, just uh, one of the things that happened is he got invited to do Saturday Night Live and a whole bunch of the cast are saying, oh, well, we don't want to participate because, and you think, wait, he's created the biggest, you know, green energy company, most successful in history. Like this is not some like conservative reactionary, but it's, well, he's a billionaire. Uh, he's successful. And so what we're not, we're, that's our protest. And so you have to ask yourself in a world where we depend on builders, we depend on creators uh, in a world that depends on the mind, what happens when you don't appreciate and indeed smear and attack the, the men of the mind, as Ayn Rand put it. And the point is that you won't have them forever, and you certainly won't have the full benefits that you get from the liberated and celebrated human mind. And so if you care about values, part of what you have to care about is, do I live in a culture that nourishes, welcomes, and is hospitable to value creation? and we're increasingly not such a culture.